Now I want to get into this very important topic Mood swings I want to talk about mood swings And, and what they are and, and how to deal with them and, Or maybe how to eradicate them totally Now when you're dealing with mood swings You're dealing with something that it, it, it's, it's an underlying cause On what's causing these mood swings And what mood swings are It's like a pendulum when the pendulum goes back and forth Like a clock Tick tock Tick tock Your moods are like that When you have mood swings It's, it's a rapid change in your mood You can be happy one moment And then the next moment You're fussy You're angry You're mad You're just mad So I'm going to give you a few Ways on how to Change that For your advantage For your benefit Now when you're dealing with mood swings It's an underlying cause Of what's causing this Change in your mood It could be a sign of depression It could be a sign that you might have a Bipolar disorder it could be that Or as some women might have mood swings dealing with like PMS With their premenstrual period, their premenstrual cycle it could be that But whatever it is I'm going to give you ways on how to maybe tolerate it Or how to cope with it Or maybe eradicate it, just get rid of it totally One way to do that is to change your environment Your environment is very important If you are dealing with an environment of poverty, let's say and you, Or you're dealing with people around you That are not helping you elevate Or not... Um, Cheering for you or or, or, or or bringing you bad news all the time You might be going through some financial difficulty Or your job is not suitable to your or well-being or to, to your lifestyle your, your job could be part of your issue that's causing these mood swings Whatever that's around you Anything around you, you got to look at and maybe change anything that's, that's causing these mood swings. Because when you're dealing with mood swings, it, they don't just happen for no reason. There's a reason to why your mood is, mood is changing. It's a reason why you're happy. In one moment or the next moment You're just upset Out the blue You're just upset And the slightest thing Could could change your mood You could see something drop Off the counter And then you're just Oh why did that happen You know you're, you're, And you were just happy Just happy So it could be the slightest thing Somebody could say something That you disagree with And then your mood changes you got to reduce your stress levels You got to reduce anything that's, that's giving you high levels of stress Some type of stress is not bad Because that will get, get you out of your environment So some stress is okay But when you have a lot of high levels of stress You got to reduce that And when you reduce that your mood won't change to one extreme to the next When you reduce your stress levels You can meditate You can change your diet Watch what you eat, man A lot of us have a poor, unhealthy diet But then we got these mood swings Check your diet Check, see what you're eating on a daily basis Are you eating out all the time Are you eating fast food all the time 
you know, are you incorporating any healthy foods? If you're not, you need to do that because this can change your mood. Like they say, you are what you eat. You are what you eat. If you are changing moods, then you are becoming a product of your environment, a product of your diet. You are a product of your diet. Whatever you consume is going to reflect outward. So if you have all these mood swings going back and forth, you're not stable. Then there's an imbalance you got to check. Whether it's from your environment, whether it's your stress levels, whether it's your diet. You got to level your life. You want to even plane. And you're like this. You're like this. It's something you're not doing right. It's something in your life that is not right. You're not supposed to be having all these mood swings where you're happy and then you're mad the next moment. That's not normal. That's not natural. Don't let anything go unnoticed. When you let things go unnoticed, then you're going to suffer the consequences of your neglect. If you're neglectful, and I mentioned this before, if you're neglectful and you just let things just be what they are, then be ready to deal with any scenario that goes on, whether it's from your diet, whether it's from the people you're around, whether it's from your, uh, your environment, whether it's from that. If you have a lot of emotional difficulty, if you have a lot of financial difficulty, if you have problems getting along with people, if you're bad in that area, if you have problems with your body, changes are going on, you, you might be overweight, you might be overweight, you can have a lot of stomach problems, you know, you could be doing drugs, smoking, drinking, all of that, all of that is part of your diet, you gotta check that man, if People come in your life and then they're gone. The next moment, if people come in and then they're gone and this has been happening to you a lot. It might be those mood swings. A lot of the times mood swings scare people off. It could scare away opportunity. You know, it could scare away something that can benefit you it can, it can scare away or turn away or push away a more positive environment this is why a lot of us don't like to deal with moody people because when you bring in moody people people who have just so many mood swings then it's going to make that person's life imbalanced we're balanced for a reason. We're balanced because we have our life in order. We have our life in order. We have our diet in order. We have our environment in order or stable. When you bring in moody people, then that environment that you created for yourself is going to be unstable. You can easily bring in these mood swings in your life. Now, now you're moody. Because you're, you're letting people in who have mood swings. You're letting people in who have an imbalance somewhere. You, you're letting people in who have an underlying issue that they haven't resolved. Or, or not working on. If you have mood swings, you can't move forward. It's all about moving forward. It's not about just being settled for where you're at. When you're trying to cope with your environment, when you're just dealing with a, a poor diet, when you, you your stress levels are way high and you're not doing anything about it, 
you're settling for your circumstance. You're settling for where you're at. And since you're settling, you're going to be a product of where you're at. You're going to be a product of what you eat and digest. You're going to be a product of high stress levels. Incorporate more herbs. Incorporate more natural foods that are calm your attitude that will calm these mood swings that are calm the stress you gotta investigate and look for them because these mood swings can be a, a sign of something bigger that might happen that might happen or, or it's an underlying cause there it might lead to bipolar disorder if you don't take care of it, it could lead to that it could be a, 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 a case where you don't take a hold of these mood swings and then it'll lead into bipolar, it'll lead into a more, a more serious issue with depression. And you don't want to get to that point. It's getting to that point because you're trying to deal with your environment. You're trying to deal with the stress. You're trying to deal with your health the way it is. You don't have to deal with whatever is around your life the way it is if it's causing you issues. So you got to make changes. If you constantly having these mood swings and you're coping or trying to cope with a lot of the stresses, a lot of the, the circumstances in your circumference in life. You're, you're not making a change. You got to make a change. So you can put yourself in a, a much more stable environment. You want to put yourself in a more stable, level, balanced environment. And it, it'll help a lot with these mood swings. It'll calm it down drastically. We're all human. I understand. We're all human. We're going to go through ups and downs. You want to be as balanced as possible, whether it's like this. That's cool. That's cool. If your life is like that, that's cool. That's great. But if it's like this, you're up and down. You're moody all the time. A slightest thing will tick you off. There's a problem. There's an underlying issue there. And so just look over the, the ways I told you how to change these mood swings. And, and watch how your life will change. But this is Matt. And I'll see you in the next one.